Hey guys, it's Super Matt, and today's another Mobile Minute with Matt and Friends, and I have a good friend, awesome realtor, on with me today, Stephanie Fetro with the Fetro team at Coldwell Banker Apex. What's up, girl? How are you? Good. How are you doing, Matt? I'm doing great. You're looking great. You look fresh. You're ready to go get out and sell some homes today? Absolutely. Actually, today I didn't sell any, but I sold two yesterday, so... That's awesome. Good for you. Yeah. Well, we were just kind of discussing something a while ago, so we might as well just tell people right now, you have a few vacant homes you you need to move, right? They're vacant. We, Nobody's yeah, we, in there. Right. We've got one in Plano that is a Toll Brothers home. It's got a great amount of smart features. Um, it's vacant. It's got, actually got some furniture and some extra stuff that will stay with it. So halfway there to being lived in. Okay. And then we've got the cute older home in Bonham that's been remodeled about a year and a half ago that's empty and ready to go. Well, that's great. All right. So anybody can just leave a message. Uh, we'll tag uh, Stephanie on this on our social media post and just leave a comment after this video and let her know that you're interested and she'll get back with you because she'll see the comment. So, so let's just go ahead and get into some questions so since the COVID-19 issues have started back here in March what have you been dealing with how have you been dealing with it personally and corporately so corporately we've really taken the time to dial in and figure out what we can do to help best serve our clients during this time what are their needs how have they changed and what are our resources that we have that we've always always had to use to help them and for our team, we've always done digital, the, sorry, the digital 3D tour mm -hmm. of our listings. So that's been our biggest hit. You know, we already have the tool for somebody to walk into a home digitally, virtually, and see every bit of it. Um, so that's been a big part for our team. Um, we, as a company, work good to help each other. We've got some agents who can't go out in the field because of their personal health. So we have other agents who are taking care of them their clients and helping um, tag team. For our, our family, it's a big change. We've got kids home and um, they're self-schooling. As I say, I'm not homeschooling because they have teachers. Their teachers are doing that. And we're supporting those um, classes and assignments and trying to keep them encouraged as well as encouraging our clients in that same thing. So we have a lot of families that we serve that are doing the same thing. I bet you are. So, so tell me about the digital part of that that y'all been doing. Have you always seen that digital part or that virtual part of this showings and, and, and walkthroughs to be able to help people make better educated decisions so you don't have to go look at seven or eight houses and drive there, right? That's really what it's there for, isn't it? Yeah, so that's what we've always used it for, especially if you've got a family who has a special um, need, like they need an extra bedroom down. Is that bedroom big enough? Yeah. They need... A workplace they need mom study place whatever that might be we've always had that uh, it also creates a floor plan of the home so you can visually see it um, but even as right now you can see closets you can see laundry space you can see the backyard space it's really it's a great second set of eyes even if you have seen it in person back and review things right now are y'all using Matterport is that the type of system you're using Yes, we, we use Matterport. We actually invested personally in the camera and equipment oh. when it first came. Um, we have our own photography team on a, that work with us that are part of our realtor team. And they do all that because then we're able to do it straight from a buyer's perspective. Since we spend time with buyers, we know what they're looking for. So we, we pair that perfectly instead of just being, you know, reaching out to a photographer and finding out when they're available. We have realtors that are always available that are our camera specialists. That's awesome. That's great to know that. And plus having that on your team means, you know, you're going to be more efficient at getting things done, getting the process, you know, moving along and not having to wait all the time, right? Because you have to get in line because you're waiting for somebody else to come and do it when they're doing somebody else's. You have your own people doing your own stuff, which is great. Absolutely. And from the time that we get the word that someone wants to use us for a listing, 
As soon as those paperwork is signed, we set that list of video and camera appointment. Mm -hmm. And from that point of completion, we can have a property up in 48 hours. That's awesome. Good. Yeah, that's good to know on that. So what has uh, Coldwell Banker Apex been explaining and training you guys on or what's been coming down the, the pipe about, you know, the COVID-19 issues and what is corporate saying to you guys, you know, about this? Biggest thing is be informed. Yeah. Be safe in what you're doing. Follow the guidelines of our government and take care of people. Yeah. It's, that's always been our number one is customer service for our company from the very beginning of Caldwell Banker and Caldwell Banker Apex and the beginning of her team. It's about taking care of people and what can we do to help make their life a little bit easier in the time of what they're going through. Right. Oh, for sure. Okay. So since everybody's been at home, what's been the go-to snack lately at the house? Anything new started up, you know, that y'all weren't doing before or the kids eating out of house and home <laughs> i wish i could say it's been like fruits and vegetables and like <laughs> we got coffee, but it's been chocolate yeah, chocolate. yeah. <laughs> uh, you can't go wrong with that the other day my <laughs> wife and 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 daughter harley came home and debbie harley came home and said guess what we're gonna have and i was like what and we're like, well we got a big old half gallon of vanilla ice cream and root beer so we're going to have root beer buds. Yeah. So I've, yeah. I, I've been just holding back a little bit because I was waiting till the weekend to finally have one. They've already had some this week. I did have a little bit of root beer, but not the ice cream part of it yet. So that's going to be my treat for tonight after dinner. So have you, who's cooking in the house, Chris or you? Well, the good thing is we take turns and okay. our daughter who's on our team is a 24 still lives at our house too right. and so we have three cooks in the house yes. for that road meat. and my 15 year old daughter has just started to like to do some experimenting in the kitchen so she's doing little things here and there as well well it was funny that a while back when all this started uh, the girls went to the grocery store and we got some hamburger helper and i was telling harley i was like here, you need to learn how to cook this now because as you get older and get into, you know, on your own, you're going to be eating this probably for a little while. But it was so funny that how long it's been since we've had boxed food like that in the house to prepare, you know. But, hey, you know, you just got to go through whatever you can. And, and we're trying right. to eat, eat good too, you know, and get out and do walking every day, get some exercise mm -hmm. and some sun. It just depends on what this weather is going to do. You never know one day to the next what it's right. changing on there, too. So I'm going to be your gene, genie today, okay? And I'm going to give you one wish, and you only get one wish. What's that wish going to be today? Well, it was going to be that schools get back in session, but I just heard that's not happening for the rest of the school year. Yeah. Um, so I would just say that as we get into the summer, that – our communities come together rather than being driven apart by um, fear and yeah. that we'll start to just realize that everybody's trying to do the best they can and give each other some grace and patience. I think so too. That's a good wish. Yeah, very good wish. I hope that we can all have community parades and things around our neighborhoods and stuff and just, you know, everybody come out, everybody get out, everybody, you know, uh, be thankful and grateful that we do have good neighbors around us and good family around us and that we're all healthy and strong too, you know. It, it's funny you mentioned the uh, neighborhood parade because yesterday was my birthday. Oh, and happy belated. Our, thank you. Our wonderful life group at First McKinney Baptist Church came and surprised me with a birthday parade. Oh, oh so, that's great. <laughs> so we had about... Uh, I think about 10 cars pull down the street and we don't have houses on one side. It, it is just a, a empty street. Right. And so they just parked and, and waved and dashed a few gifts into me. And uh, it was spaces. That was just the best part is being able to see people again. Uh -huh. And did you cry? No, you did. Really close. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. I bet the eyes were starting to water a little bit. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's good. No. People right there. Good friends. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. So I guess you made it to 30. Yes. <laughs> well, 
with uh, children who don't quite compute to that age. <laughs> right. Your kids be like, what? 30? Yeah. 30? Again? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. You're dreaming. All right. So have you had uh, any new ins inspiration of um, new music or audible books or anything that you're listening to now? And are you um, binging any TV shows? Well, let's see. Um, probably the new book I just got that I haven't started yet is The Compound Effect yeah. by Darren Hardy. Yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a, he's, he's a mentor of mine for many years yes. now. And so you're going to yes. love that. Yep. So I've got that one to get started here next. And then uh, my life group ladies, they just recommended Praying for Your Adult Children by Stormy O'Brien or Martin. Stormy or Martin. Um, you know, raising adult children yeah. is just like raising them when they're little. You, your parenting doesn't stop when they hit 18 or 21 or 25. Yep. And so um, continuing to be mindful of what my role is in their lives is important. Um, Netflix, well, I, I don't, I don't know. I prefer shorter snippets of movies versus series because I get, um, I get sucked in and then yeah. I realize, you know, a whole day watching a show so i just like to watch the romantic comedies and the love yeah. stories <laughs> not anyone in particular right so i know it's going to be hard for you to see this and it says um having your best day ever living your best year ever yes yeah so this is one of darren hardy's Yes, I missed out on them when they printed them last time. Manuals? Well, guess what? I'm going to be your genie today, and I'm going to mail you one. Woohoo! Awesome. Yeah, so. All right. Then we can, we can discuss it when we see each other, which, which uh, page we're on, okay? Exactly. Love it. All right. Well, we'll work that out. And I, I bought several of them, you know, when they were putting those out. So I'm, I'm on his uh, calls every morning, you know, and have been, yes. I've never, I never miss, I haven't missed in uh, five years, six years, I guess. So wow. yeah, it's good stuff. Anyway. Hey, I just want to say thank you for being on today. Uh, God bless you and your family. And, and I just pray a hedge of protection around the home and your safety and your health. And uh, I want to say thanks to Super Inspector today because they're uh, providing and sponsoring our time together on Zoom. And uh, if y'all need anything, please let us know and have a great weekend. Thanks. You too. Okay. Bye-bye. Good. Good to see you.